Oh, and I think it's a little bit to do with the, the venue as much as that too. Is that we want we want to make sure we can cover the ground, and we and we felt we had a little bit a little bit too much of the same type of player in the side, you know, and uh, certainly by and Colhoun's for, for an example, Colhoun's been in great form in the in the Sanford. I mean, he's he's a young boy, he's a, he's a young man, I should call him. He's 18, not 19 until December, but his form's just been really good. And uh, if we're going forward, we're going to go forward by uh, making sure we uh, we keep trying to improve our side. How did you look this year since his debut? Sam, yeah. ah, look, he's been really strong. He's, as I said, he's he's gone back to the Sample every week and played well. You know, he he's always in their better players at Centrals, and he always uh, you know wins his own share of the footy, and he's able to play consistent footy at that level. And that's 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 the only thing you get to measure him by. If it's consistent, you gives him a chance to come in and play good football at AFL level. And this is his third game, and uh, gee, he's got a long way to go. But uh, you know, there should be a career there for Sam. You just started on where he's best to. Uh, no, look, you think he gives that flexibility, and that's one of the things he does for us. We know he can uh, he can run run through the middle, and we know he can play at half back, and uh, you know, and play on the small the small forwards. So we think he'll uh, he'll probably play quite a bit of half back football. But I think as he develops as a footballer, he'll spend a significant amount of time probably up through the middle of the ground a bit more because he's he's an elite user, and uh, you know, he's a really hard runner. Do you think he's going to be better today at AFL level? Sam. Yeah, no, look, that's 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 the thing we'll see tomorrow. You know, that's the thing. We'll, that's the gauge on on his improvement. I think is because the couple of games he's come in that, he's, and rightly so, he's, he's found that the step up in tempo a challenge. You now he's had some more time to get himself ready to do that. And this time will be it's like any young player. They'll they'll have a little bit of up and down about him. But hopefully there'll come a day where he comes in and and, and the pressure of the of the next level up. He'll he'll look like he belongs. And probably that's when he'll stay there. Is disposal more important under the roof than other guys? Kane this week? Nah, not really. I thought Kane. Uh, uh, certainly, I'm disappointed. I don't want Kane out of the side, but after 13 years and and the uh, look, he shouldn't have done it. Simple, I suppose that's probably where I should leave it. Is he, he shouldn't have done. It. We don't want him out of the side. I just think that there's some sometimes when you look at the uh, grading of things and how things turn out that perhaps there's some hard done by cases, and there has been over the year, and there's been some blokes who have probably got off a bit lighter, and perhaps I put Kane in the hard done by case. No, I don't think I'm confused. I mean, I or disappointed. yeah, I'm a little, I'm a little bit uh, disappointed in, in in the way things get handled at times, and you you can just see that there's, I mean, you all know that there's some actions that go on that you think perhaps should get marked a bit harder, and there's some actions that go on you think, gee, that's been marked tough. I think once we get away from being able to say that, we'll we'll have a system that's pretty good, okay. but at the moment we don't have it. Oh, I don't know. I'd, I would assume they'll they'll review everything as they do every season and uh, come up with uh, hopefully a better system that uh, you know that's, that's more consistent. That's what we want our players to be. We want them to be consistent every week. So I think that's the key thing. When you look at it and you say, you, you know what's going to happen here, and I, I do that. I, I get the gradings out and I look at it and go, yeah, I, I think I've got an idea where this is going to end up. You know, with Westy, I thought I know where this is going to end up. I think that's the key thing. Is that I, I would have said ninety percent of the time it gets pretty close, but there's that. There's that part of it that doesn't quite always stack up to what you think should be, a, a, in my opinion, a good judgment.